everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. Well, I've been practicing a lot and getting better so I can be competitive this year. But man, I keep making the dumbest mistakes. A new season is here and AMRA and the AMA have teamed up to create the first ever Arizona Off-Road State Championship. And I'm hoping to participate in every race, but I can't do it without your support. Now in this video, I want to recognize the first four Patreons that have earned a spot on my bike. They supported me all season last year and have continued to provide their support to help keep the videos on the Joe Rockstar channel coming and to keep me in the races. Now, I have no desire to decorate my bike with the names of companies that are popular in the industry. Instead, I choose to decorate my bike with the names of those who support me. If you're interested in earning a spot on my bike, please go to my Patreon page. Pledge your support. Pledge as little as a dollar a month, as every little bit will help keep me racing. It's been a heck of a summer, and the time has flown. I've tried to use it wisely to get out and get as much practice as I can. Unfortunately, the distance I have to travel to get to places that simulate an AMA race is pretty far. Marana, Arizona is one of these places. It's about an hour and 40 minute drive and it's north of Tucson, Arizona. And the temperatures can get pretty blistering during summer. If I'm gonna ride and practice there, I have to get there before the sun comes up and get started right away. And sometimes that option is just not reasonable, considering how much it costs in gas and the amount of time that it takes. Just like many of you, my days are busy and filled with lots of things that need to be done. And every time I go out to ride, I'm neglecting some of those things. And those things either don't get done, or I have to hustle and scramble to get them done. And unfortunately, most of the time, they just don't get done. So what do you do when your local riding areas are so limited? Sadly, I live in a county that is overregulated by environmentalists, and so there's not many places you can ride without risking getting a ticket or having your bike impounded. Well, what I do is I hit up the local motocross track because it's better than nothing. Nomads, our local track, well, it's not the best track in the world, but it's ours. Fortunately, Nomads doesn't just feature a motocross track, it actually has some small single tracks around the property. Now the single tracks here are pretty limiting. And once you've ridden them a few times, they're easy to memorize. You pretty much know every turn and obstacle by heart. So what I do is I use it to work on my stamina and work on my turning. And I try to make practicing fun. I use a combination of the motocross track and the single track that's available to try and squeeze every little bit out of this place and make one long loop. Now what you're watching here is one of those loops. I start out on the motocross track for a lap and a half and then I head out to the single track. And then I repeat it over and over again and try to keep going as hard as I can, as fast as I can, for a minimum of one hour. Now I bet for some of you that sounds like child's play. Easy, right? For me, I'm still working on the stamina. But I'd like to know, what do you do? Those of you who have limited riding areas and limited areas to practice, where do you ride? How do you enjoy your time on your bike? And are you doing anything actively to try and change the situation where you live? Although I haven't been able to do much actively, I did join a club, Trail Riders of Southern Arizona or TRS, is working hard and closely with the U.S. Forestry Department to open up more single track in my area. If you're having trouble finding local places to ride, maybe the answer is to join a club. I've said it before, there's strength in numbers. And even if you can't physically attend meetings or get out there and be an active participant, just paying your dues could provide much needed financial support. 
And of course, if you're able, it's important to provide feedback and let your voice be heard to those that would shut our writing areas down. The environmentalist lobby is strong and loud, and we need to be stronger and louder. And we can only do that together. But when we finally do win and we get our way, we need to be good stewards of the areas that we get to ride in. We need to be mindful and considerate of others who are using the same areas for different activities. Avoid roosting and dusting out hikers, scaring horses and wildlife. Do what it takes to take care of your bike and keep the exhaust level down. Off-road, loud pipes don't save lives. It just irritates other users who aren't involved in our activities. And it serves to push a stereotype that we just don't care and we're rude and obnoxious. And if we choose not to get involved and to abuse the areas that are given to us to ride in, then we only have ourselves to blame and we can't be surprised when areas get shut down. We really don't need to give the environmentalists any more ammunition. Personally, I'm tired of having to practice in a fishbowl. And I'm looking forward to opening up new riding areas. And I'm ready to do just about whatever it takes to get more places opened up. As usual, I want to thank all of my Patreon sponsors who help pay for these videos. And I'd like to encourage you to help me out as well. Also, for those of you who stuck around long enough to watch this far into the video, I really appreciate your support. Now next week, October 1st, is the first race of the series. So wish me luck, and as usual, I'll be working hard to get the race video done by the end of the week. So enough of me running my lips. Just sit back and enjoy watching the rest of my practice loop, if you will, here at the Nomads Motocross Park. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.